Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Devin at Shea Space. What's up? <laughs> I'm checking in. I'm late on this. Granted, I just started, but uh, I'm late on this whole this whole subject. But uh, we gonna talk about it today. Let's just get straight to it. Is Kevin Gates gay? Is he gay? Because it seemed to be some people claiming he is. And the what? And let me just say is the way Kevin Gates <clears throat> carry himself and hold itself. If he wasn't gay, I don't think nobody would come out and say that about him. So today, that's what we talking about. And uh, I hate to do a video like this, but it is what it is, and it's already out there. I'm just bringing it to light on my channel. That's all I'm doing, because I want to talk about it myself, because I, I mess with his music. I listen to Kevin Gates' music. And if and if you think about it, I mean, as soon as this, as soon as I seen this, I was like, you know, I just thought about some of his lyrics and some of the stuff that he said. And I was like, man, this guy. And he always been a little, little different in that area as far as things that you do. You know what I'm saying? Or, you know, Kep Gates the one that made eating booty popular. He really made that popular. But what I'm saying is, what, is he on the other side? But um, without, without further ado, man, let me show y'all this right here. This clip right here. East Moline, right? That's me, right? Oh, yo, oh my mama, that nigga a fag. That nigga's a fag, Joe. I was just sitting there with that nigga, Joe. Who oh, that? Son. Hold on, who that right there? Who that? That's me. That's me. This is oh, me. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, for my kids, what? that nigga gay. Come on, man. For my kids, that nigga gay, nigga. East Moline, D-Wing, nigga, on the fiend. That nigga oh, gay. Mom. On my son, nigga. Hey, 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 who you know? Who you know about Geechee motherfucking um commissary and clothes and shit? When the I come get him, nigga, ask him about that, nigga. Look, my cousin just get out. My cousin just get out. Muslims don't draw like that, Kevin Gates. Hey, don't Muslim let another nigga suck his dick, man. Muslims don't draw like that. Come on, man. Come on. Muslims don't draw like that, man. Muslims don't draw like that, man. You hear me? We real over here, Joe. Hey, tell the nigga, tell the nigga what the division it was, bro. Man. Hey, East Moline, B Wing, nigga, intake, because everybody know that came from East Moline. I can call somebody right now, nigga. Hey, key, hey, call Cuz, call Cuz right now. Fuck man. that call. Hey, look, watch this, G. Hey, Kevin Gates, I've been told all the nigga was a Gitchy, G. And it be goofy ass niggas like him, G, that fuck it up for real niggas like us. And my mama, hey, look, they can hey, look son. cousin up too, G. And you hey, can see son. he was locked up in that bitch. What's up, bro? Hey, now what about that Kevin Gates leg, Zoe? What, what, what? Hey, what he was in there doing, Zoe? That man was fucking with fags, man. What are you doing? Hey, when that nigga, didn't he go to AI for doing what? What do you, hey, what do you do, Law? Buying the Geechee clothes and food and shit. Man, come on, man. It's real facts right here, man. That nigga a Geechee, man. He ain't here, bitch. My mom, he ain't want no smoke. He ain't not acting like he a gangster, nigga. That nigga want no smoke, nigga. On the scene, nigga. I'm with all that shit, nigga. On the scene, nigga. Hold on, hold on, son. Hold up, though. It ain't, I ain't done showing y'all clips, man. Uh. But um, y'all hear these people that was uh locked up with him, and he just showed, yeah, as you can see, when I when the, when the clip first came on, and uh, Kevin Gates prison ID when he was locked up and where he was at, and on the video, it had the other dudes who's saying this, his picture when he was locked up and where he was at. So he's saying that Kevin Gates was getting his. Uh, was getting having oral sex with a with a guy in in prison, and uh, so I'm gonna continue to play. I'm gonna just play a different part of the video where the dude is talking about it himself. Purity, man. He start paying. That's just his instinct. Some of the brothers and all that, man, for the for the keep him safe, Joe. But you rap all this gangster shit on motherfucking YouTube and shit. You know, nothing. Y'all bush me. About eight of y'all. But they had a nigga from Shreveport, real street nigga. When when everybody pushed me, he, everybody jumped on my, everybody poop, 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 poop. He grabbed me. He said, hold on, let us do it one-on-one. -on -one. We rolling in that bitch. After we rolling that bitch, I went, I went, took me a shit, made my bed. That nigga came in there and dapped me off. Yeah, that's how bulls me. Then everybody was teasing me like, because I, when I punch, I, <laughs> then after that, I ain't gonna lie, I had another, I forgot what happened. A nigga snuck me on the line. He was in his feelings about a bitch, but he snuck me online. When he punched me in my shit, he had hit me like right here. Like a hard bitch, like, um. but his homeboy saved him. That's all. Nothing, yeah, I got beat up. 
<laughs> I got beat up. I always get beat up. But everybody, everybody, but just for all my young people watching, just because you lose a fight, that doesn't make you a coward. You hear me? That doesn't make you a coward. You're not fighting to win. You're fighting to get your point across. Yeah, nigga never played with me like this. Keep 100, motherfuckers really out here doing, living this life, Lord. Motherfuckers really out here drilling shit, Joe. You feel me? I ain't got to act about shit, so Dude ain't who he say he is, bro. It's just like I made that song. He ain't who he say he is, bro. Straight up, bro. I don't just speaking facts, Joe. You paying motherfuckers for the, for the keep you safe. But you say you a knock a nigga out of all this. Nigga, throw your motherfucking hands up, nigga. On the feet of motherfucker, nigga, you supposed to be one of the brothers, nigga. Fuck you paying somebody for, nigga. Ain't nobody finna turn down no commissary, Joe. I don't give no fuck if you got a, a box full, you feel me? Ain't nobody finna turn down no commissary anyway. And he was. So, as you can see right there, like Brett just said, ain't nobody gonna turn down no commissary or no money. So if he was wanting to pay somebody, it could easily be done. But you see where people get mad because they really live in that life. And you got a guy that's pretending to live that life, but doing another thing, saying one thing and doing another thing. So you got to realize it made some certain people mad. So that's just where they at at this. And what this guy goes on to say is that inside of prison, man, you got to realize it's guys that don't have nothing inside of these gangs. They can't even get nothing from their own gangs. And a lot of places, the gangs break bread evenly. But it's guys that don't really have much. So you got a guy like Kevin Gates that come along and, and say, uh, I'm going to pay you $1,000 a week for protection. What? They, You got it. You know what I'm saying? You got it. Like, it's that easy. And now that gang on your side, morals and everything to the side. I've, I've seen it happen. Like, I've seen it happen with my own two eyes. You just got to know the right person. But it's like some of these organizations uh, are still put it up there and go to war about it. But evidently, he had the right people on his team for the right amount of time because it was said that he went to PC shortly after that. He started paying people. But um, so he dodged the bullet in some type of way, some form. You know what I'm saying? So but let, let me continue to play it. I'm going to keep it smile, though. Putting money, he was having motherfuckers put money on the motherfuckers, them niggas books, Joe. You feel me? So basically, money and commissary. Stand up for yourself, nigga. Like the rest of us, nigga. Ain't no big eyes and lit use none of that shit, nigga. And let me go back to what I was saying before, Joe. He had a little altercation, Joe. So the brothers, the brothers got down on the motherfucker, Joe, you feel me? You beat the dog shit out of the nigga, you feel me? He ain't do shit, he just sat back, you feel me? So, but they beat this, they beat the, the Muslim, beat the fuck out of the nigga, Joe. You know what I'm saying? So when I came... The guards got me, I was in the child hall, the guards seen I was bust up. I had some, some of the, ooh, we not. They say you been fighting, I said, I ain't been fighting at all. They came and grabbed everybody, you know what I'm saying? Jeez. For beating, beating up dudes, Joe. You feel me? They can't, they, so they figured it out, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how they figured it out, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got their own, you know what I'm saying? And all of them went to say You feel me? Then, boom. After they went to say you feel me? I had to let all the cases, you feel me? I had to let fight, you know what I'm saying? We got the scrapping and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Dude folded, you feel me? He told them that we was fighting, you know what I'm saying? So I went to say So while we in SIG, Joe, Dude, dude got his motherfucking, dude got his motherfucking, the fag, Joe, he was a Gitchy down there, Joe, the same Gitchy he was buying food for and shit, Joe. He got down there, you know what I'm saying? The fag came out of motherfucking, said to myself, man, I just sucked Kevin Gates' dick, man. And then afterwards, that's when he got the buying of the motherfucking Gitchy clothes and shit, bro. Clothes and food and shit, bro. So what, what the fuck is that, bro? Once that nigga came up and B-Wing, man, he went to D-Wing, man. The motherfucker, them, them gangsters finna get up on his ass, Joe. Take that motherfucking food and shit, Joe. You feel me? That's when he got the paying for it, Joe. When they got the paying for it, Joe. When he got the paying for the security and shit, they put his ass over there in motherfucking protective custody. You feel me? That's in the help, the help building. You feel me? Because, you know, he, I guess, he told them he feel threatened all that shit. But, you, you know what I'm saying? So they put him in protective custody. Mm -mm -mm. Man, look, man. That nigga ain't real, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can think he real. Y'all, all that shit, y'all think this and that and all that shit. Man, that shit for publicity, man. I'm just fucking eat, sleep, and shit by the nigga, man. You feel me? So I know the real him, so. So all that shit that they talking about, bro. Yeah, so as you can see, man, that's what they had to say about this whole sh situation. Man, and uh, 
it's 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 a sticky one, man. It's funny, you know, cause they been in there, you know, they can't really reach out and say nothing. So obviously this guy got out and had he had something to say. Like it was it was itching to say it. But uh that's where I'm at with this video. You know, I I, I want y'all to jump in the uh, comment box and let me know what y'all think. My last video had some guys come in my comment some trolls, let me say some trolls come in my comment box and straight uh troll. You know how they do. But yeah, hop in that thing, let me know what you think because I know everybody gonna have a opinion about Gates. Let me know what you think about this, man. You know what I'm saying? It don't seem like this for some clout, man. It seemed like it seemed like what it seemed like, and that's that's really all I got to say about this situation. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, man, y'all like and subscribe, hop in that comment box, share this. You know what I'm saying? And uh, just interact. It's your boy Shade Space. I'll holler at y'all later, man. Peace.